GitHub Copilot completions just got a huge upgrade. Instead of just proposing code, it will now suggest changes to existing code based on changes as you make them. It's called Next Edit Suggestion or NES. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can start using it today. Let's go. All right, check this out. This is really cool. So let's say that we want to pass in this unit here as a parameter. Watch this. I'm going to come up top and I'm going to create an enum called unit. And you can see Copilot completes this. So I'm going to hit tab to accept and watch this. It now looks down and says, oh, you need to pass it in and you need to add a string here based on the type of the enum. So I'm just going to hit tab and it updates that entire function. But then it sees there's more changes. It goes down again, sees that we need to add the unit down below so we can hit tab to accept it there as well. And then it just keeps going because this cascading change just keeps moving through the code. So we can hit tab to accept that. And then it adds it to the actual function call there and boom, that refactor is done. That is Copilot Next Edit Suggestions. This is the natural evolution of completions in GitHub Copilot because most of the code that we write isn't new code, it's iterating over existing code. And that's where Copilot comes in clutch. For instance, Copilot's Next Edit Suggestions is super powerful because it can find bugs you don't even know that you have. Let me give you a real world example. So the other day, I'm in my own personal blog making some updates to the HTML. And as I am making these updates, I made the update. And then as soon as I hit tab, I noticed that it's giving me a suggestion on something completely unrelated. And when I looked at it, I realized, oh my gosh, that's wrong. It shouldn't be pre next page path. It should be previous page path. So I just hit tab, accept that. And the paginator, which was never working to begin with, is now working. That's brilliant. Now, you see these three dots all over my code? You know what this is? It's not a mistake. If I click into it, watch this. Boom. There's all my CSS classes. It's just the class attribute, and it's been collapsed. And this is an extension called inline fold. And it's very, very helpful if, like me, you use Tailwind or other verbose CSS libraries. And what's nice about this is that you can easily toggle it on and off right from the command palette. You got to check it out. That's called inline fold. I want to show you one last thing with next edit suggestions, because as it turns out, it's not just for code. So look at this. Look at this. This is an actual blog post I was working on for agent mode in GitHub Copilot, which if you haven't checked that out, you got to check that out. But while I'm writing, next edit suggestions is popping up and helping me with my grammar. So clearly I struggle with it's versus it's. And as you go down, you can see it'll fix spelling mistakes for you. And you can just sort of see there's an arrow down there now showing you there's more changes down. If you click the arrow, you can just go to, which is just tab or escape to reject. So we can just click tab, tab down. Looks like I did it yet again. This is next edit suggestions in GitHub Copilot. Super powerful. This is in preview right now. We love your feedback. Next Edit Suggestions is going to be changing a lot very soon. Big updates to come. We cannot wait to show you what's next for Next Edit Suggestions in GitHub Copilot. And as always, happy coding.